guys, I'm Lasha Gonzalez and you're watching My Name is Lata. Yeah, that's what it is. And that's what I'm talking about. Hey guys, I'm Lasha Gonzalez, pero tú me puedes llamar Lata. And I'm back with another video. Today's video is really important and special because today we're gonna talk about how to use a walking cane. A lot of people ask me this question and I just wanted to show you guys a few techniques and tell you about the names of the parts of a cane. Um, like even though i do have a cane i normally don't use it as much yeah i know it's dangerous i should be using a cane but i am normally with people um and right now we are not going outside that much and if you are going outside please stay safe um but still even though i don't use it that much i'm gonna show you guys what i do when i normally do use it so let's just start so this is a cane it has it's normally depending on your size that's how long your cane is gonna be like the height of the cane mine I believe is like 52 inches or so this is the handle this is the elastic band that you saw me take off of the cane so I could open up the cane um, and normally divides like this like you saw when I opened it um, I'm pretty sure that you guys know how the tip of a cane looks because they normally just have this red thing and this serves as a real good tool for all blind people or visually impaired people because it helps you to be safe whenever you are in the streets and the car is coming because the driver will know that you are visually impaired or legally blind or just blind and they will either let you go or if you do know your techniques they will just be able to see that you are visually impaired um there's a couple different um types of like canes mine is a graph a graphite cane which means that it's a little bit lighter than a normal cane um normal canes are usually made of aluminum and they tend to be a little bit on the heavier side not that heavy but like usually um this tip um is normally whatever the cane a normal cane brings um an aluminum cane will only bring this tip but a graphite cane you can like pull it like this and you could change the tip for a rolling tip which is like a a tip that looks like a ball and I will leave that like this and then you could change it to like something that looks like there's another one that looks like a disc and it's better for rolling it on the floor um and yeah there's like different tips that you could change it to there's people that um, put like bedazzling situations on the cane. I don't prefer doing that because I feel like it would take the whole red thing not make it like you being safe part of the cane. Um, so no, I don't do that. But if you want to do it, um, then go ahead. I have seen a lot of people that have like only pink canes, like entero pink and it looks really pretty um but i just don't feel comfortable doing that even though i don't use it as much um also i wanted to let you guys know that only two percent of our blind community use this so please don't come for me because i don't use it as much yeah um now that i have explained the parts of a cane and the height situation and what it could help you for and like the red part because a lot of people are like confused about why is it there and why all the canes have to have that um yeah i'm now i'm gonna show you a few techniques that i mentioned in the beginning 
So, little disclaimer. This part of the video was recorded way before this coronavirus situation started. As you can see, I was wearing a coat. So it was cool. So yeah, it was not nearly close to this date where I'm posting this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that. So let's roll the clip. So this is how I used my cane normally. This is a diagonal position of the cane. Um, and to just normally just put the cane like that on the floor and you just walk and you don't move it you just keep it on the floor like that i wouldn't recommend somebody that um doesn't feel comfortable with this technique to use it because that's just my preference the next take is of me going down the stairs this technique was one of my favorites to learn um, just because it was really challenging and I like stuff that is challenging <laughs> weird um, So I normally just tap my cane on the first step and I just keep tapping the cane on each stair until I get to the bottom This technique is the first thing that you learn whenever you're learning to go downstairs with a cane after that do that by yourself you have to learn to use it without tapping it every time on the stairs you just tap it on the first one and then you bring it up and then touch it on any other parts of the stairs until you feel the cane touch the bottom like the bottom part of the staircase um the next take is of me showing constant contact this technique is what normally people see blind people using whenever they have the cane with them um this is like um hyper mega stereotype because not everybody that is visually impaired or blind uses this technique um we call this constant contact because as you can see the cane keeps moving from side to side um which is where the names the, the name of the technique comes from um next take is of me showing you how to find doors or open spaces with your cane and a wall so you normally just touch the wall with your fingers if you don't feel comfortable with that you could totally just not touch the wall and just put the cane to the wall but um i was taught to use my hand so it will be kind of easier following the side of the wall and put your cane against it and whenever you feel an open space you found your door or whatever open space you're trying to find. This last take is kind of not what we were expecting to record, but this is me showing you the search. The search is basically how we cross the street. We have to use our ears if you don't have any other disabilities, re disabilities related to your hearing um, to see when a car is there like in the street almost next to you or if there's cars moving parallel to what like where you're standing at um so normally what specialists or like mobility instructors recommend is that you wait so you wait until the circle starts again for you to know that you have to cross because there's no cars coming on the side of the street that you are in so Please, if you are blind or visually impaired or whatever under the spectrum and you're watching this video, please listen to your mobility instructors. I'm not by any means a mobility instructor. I'm just sharing what I know. So please don't follow any of these tips if you don't want to or you think that they will be unsafe for you. Okay, thanks. Like I said in the beginning, I don't use my cane that much so when i'm outside i'm normally with other people so this part of the video is showing you how i walk with other people this is called sighted guide it's sighted guide because there's somebody that is sighted 
guiding me. Disclaimer. There's people that could guide you and they could be visually impaired or completely blind. Um, so I normally just put my hand on the crook of the elbow of somebody, of the somebody that is helping me. Um, and I normally do that with people that I know, like my friends, my mom, my family. Um, if you are in the street, I would recommend always putting your hand up on that person's elbow. Don't ever let somebody drag you because you just don't know what could happen. And that could be really dangerous. And yeah, I just wanted to explain how that part of me walking works. Because like I said, I don't like to use my cane because it, it, it just feels like it slows me down. That might not be the case for you or for whoever, for whoever else that you know that uses a cane. And yeah. So, um, hi again. My dumbass forgot to record a clip of me going upstairs and explaining it. So I'm just going to explain it. Um, it's basically the same technique as going downstairs to just tap on the first stairs on the first layer of stairs that you feel whenever you're going up and then you touch on every stair until you get to the top and that's just it um now i'm out bye okay guys that concludes the video for today this video was more on the educational side i really wanted to make this video like this because it was important for me to make sure that a lot of people that are not visually impaired or really don't understand how to use a cane or don't even know what a cane is, um, have the information available to them because I feel like we just need to be educated. So if you really like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button that is right there as well. Please leave on the comments down below if you have any ideas or if you want me to do any videos in English or in Spanish only, please follow me on Instagram or TikTok, which are both Elisha G22. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.